Hello, my name is Kara Brotman, raw food chef extraordinaire since opening my first raw food restaurant in 95 with my brother. People say you did not open the first raw food restaurant. I know I didn't, but we did open the first raw food restaurant that didn't serve rabbit food, rather pizza pasta, sushi, burritos, jalapeno poppers. We understood that lovely mother nature has supplied us with everything needed to make those foods, but in healthy versions of them. This is why I love doing recipe videos because I just love sharing everything that I have learned throughout my 25 years in the raw food business. So thank you so much for joining me here again today. As you guys know, I love taking advantage of what is in season, and it is tomato season. I'm going to be taking advantage a lot of it being tomato season. And one of the best ways to enjoy these tomatoes and preserve them is by dehydrating them, drying them out. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna make sun-dried tomatoes. I'm gonna show you a really quick, easy recipe. And I think that once you make this for yourself, you're going to be doing this on a regular basis because it's just so amazing having them warming in the dehydrator for like 24 hours to 36 hours. Throughout the day, I or Marcus go into the dehydrator and at different times there are different stages of softness or crispiness. It's just the flavor is just going building and building and building. It's just amazing. So you can dehydrate them for three hours. You could dehydrate them for 10, 15, 20, 36 or until they're completely dry. And then you just throw them in a jar tight seal it and toss it in the fridge and they last indefinitely these are not the type of sun-dried tomatoes you get in jars at the grocery store marcus said the they tasted like golden berries i mean it's just ridiculous and you know when you make things yourself homemade they are way better that just the flavor everything surpasses anything you could buy in a store so that is what we are all about today. So right now there's several varieties of tomatoes in season. One of my favorites are these orange ones. They're, they're tangy yet very sweet. Once dehydrated, they're almost too sweet for me, which is why Marcus loves them. These lovely orange ones are also um, pretty darn delicious. They, they, they're, um, they kind of have like a sour twang to them, which I love. So I went ahead and cut these tomatoes. So I cut these baby tomatoes only in half. It's all you need to cut them in half. They will shrink up. And then these ones, you can, like I said, you can use a different variety of tomatoes. It's fun to experiment and find what your favorite flavor and type of tomato is. So the um, big ones, I'm just gonna cut like a quarter inch thick because these really do, these ones shrink up substantially in the dehydrator. So this recipe requires just a few ingredients. So once we have all the tomatoes in the bowls, and I love the tomato juice, but I don't have time to throw them all in there right now, but the tomato juice, I do put the tomato juice in there too. Some people, when they make sun-dried tomatoes, they like to drain the tomato juice from it. I don't. That adds just a lot more flavor and goodness and everything to it. Um, so we also have garlic. It's imperative in here. And oh, I found this garlic. It is just so big right now at the farmer's market. So maybe garlic's in season too. But I love garlic. I go through about a bulb a day. Not a clove, a bulb. This is a big bulb though. I go through a regular size bulb a day. It's extremely healthy for you. I mean, it, it goes through every part of your body and just repairs big anti-cancer properties in, in um, garlic and Everybody just seems to be affected by cancer nowadays, so I would include a ton of garlic in my diet considering the, the scary stats. So here I got all this garlic. Now, I like a lot of garlic. 
not you know you don't have to use this much but um, it's going to be dehydrated so um, it will shrink and the flavor will not be as garlicky strong so I'm going to just mince the garlic. doesn't have to be too small because it does thin up. Okay, I'm going to do that last. Okay, so here's my olive oil. Uh, you can use any olive oil you want as long as it's a good brand. I prefer organic olive oil. And since I'm or organic oil, I like Bragg's because... They just um, set a good, they have a good reputation. So I'm using, I like Bragg's olive oil. When I go to the store, I always get Bragg's. Um, that's about a tablespoon. Okay. <laughs> you know, sun-dried tomatoes, they are in olive oil or in oil. So here we go. We got them in oil. Going to drop some garlic in it. and sea salt. I just like to put a little bit in the beginning and then um, you, in the end when it's all soft and amazingly gorgeous and beautiful then add a little bit more if you'd like. So I'm tossing my tomatoes so they get coated with the olive oil and the garlic. See that? And then we just simply Take our dehydrator tray and lay them out evenly. I thought I had a spatula. Okay, there's one. So I'm going to just lay it out even, spread them even, the even layer. And if you want, you could put pepper on it too. I don't have any on me right now, but pepper is the only other um, spice I'd, I'd suggest putting on here. Like this one, this dish, less really is more. Okay. There we go, and then we pop them into the dehydrator where they will dehydrate for, remember, anywhere from three, four hours to 24 hours, even 30 hours in some areas depending on the climate. But you, remember, go into the dehydrator after four hours and start tasting them. I doubt they'll make it once <laughs> to the 24 hour mark once you start eating them. They're just so delicious. So now I'm going to have you guys follow me over to the dehydrator with my tomatoes. So remember I dehydrate these um, at around 118 to 122 degrees. So in they go and let me show you what I have here. These are the red ones. These are finished. Oh, they're so good. I should bring them out there for you guys to see. So, finished product. La, there. We have four different varieties of tomatoes on here. These are the dark red ones. As you can see, they're still soft. But that's okay. There's hard ones too. Um, they could have used some more time in the dehydrator, but it doesn't matter. They're still delicious. It makes a beautiful topping. You could put it on top of your pasta. Um, zucchini pasta. These are regular um, hothouse tomatoes and I did slice them somewhat thick and you see how thin they got. They're still delicious. Um, and these are the cherry baby red tomatoes and these, oh, these ones taste like the golden berry. Mm. Oh my god, do you know what a golden berry tastes like? And the garlic in there. Mm. If you're a garlic lover, get ready for this garlic. So then, you know, you just take your trusty little glass jar. And just pile them in there. 
Now, I am not going to throw away this stuff like this. What I do with it is uh, it goes in my, on top of my uh, salad bowl. I do not waste this goodness. Uh, so here we have it in the jar, throw it in the fridge, and you have these indefinitely. Anytime you need something like fantastic for a sandwich, your pasta topping, oh, I use them to thicken my marinara sauces. You can thicken soups with them. Great pizza topping. Possibilities are endless. I think the thing that you are going to use them the most in is just popping them in the mouth as a snack because they're that good. Wait till you guys smell the smell these tomatoes create while they're dehydrated your house fills up with the most amazing gourmet smell okay so I'd love to hear how yours came out how you liked them and what flavors what colors are your favorites in the comments below and I really hope you guys make this and take advantage of tomato season you know they're really cheap right now you can buy them in bulk don't waste them preserve them like this. Okay, thank you again for joining me. I love sharing all the knowledge I have picked up in the past 25 years with raw foods. I just love sharing it with you guys. So thank you so much for allowing me to do that. And I really look forward to cooking with you, not cooking, preparing food with you in the kitchen next time. Okay, take care. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Bye.